بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ I pray you are all well in the best of health as well as the best of Iman. Ameen Ya Rabbal Alameen. Today, inshaAllah Ta'ala, I am going to interpret the meaning of seeing raw meat in our dream. To an extent, it is a very common dream. A lot of individuals see such a dream and uh, the dream then proves uh, to come true in a physical form also so i would just like to just uh, just like to touch sorry upon uh, this dream and interpret it and also uh, give you a solution to this dream also it's all good knowing the interpretation the meaning of such a dream but it is even uh, better knowing how to Uh, surpass and overcome uh, such a dream so the meaning of uh, seeing raw meat in our dream it is not a good sign rather it is uh, negative it is not uh, good for us to see raw meat in our dream if we do see such a dream it is an indication of illness of ailment Um, if we see raw meat, this means that in the near future or the long-term future, we will come across an illness. Now, the severity of the illness uh, cannot be decided, uh, cannot be indicated, and we cannot shed light upon uh, such matters. But overall, just seeing uh, raw meat in our dream uh, it doesn't matter what kind of meat it is from which animal it is the interpretation more or less remains the same uh, it is a sign of illness of disease ailment whatever you want to call it but now coming to uh, the solution because we have a problem we need to find the solution we need to uh, know how we can uh, take control of such a situation a person who sees such a dream first and foremost they shouldn't shouldn't mention this dream to anyone they should keep uh, this dream to themselves mentioning such a dream to uh, another person is not a good thing to do Um, secondly, if we see such a dream, we should give sadaqa. Sadaqa uh, in, the, in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, find someone poor, someone needy, someone legit who is worthy of sadaqa and give them sadaqa. Either give them money, uh, buy them something uh, of, uh, something of benefits. such as uh, clothes or food etc or you could even buy them meat and give them meat as sadaqa also so uh, by giving the sadaqa inshallah ta'ala we will uh, overcome this bad dream inshallah ta'ala allah will keep us safe and mahfuz from uh, ailments from disease and illness inshallah ta'ala And uh, thirdly, we, if we, if we uh, see such a dream, we should recite Surah Kawthar on a regular basis. Surah Kawthar is, uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Inna a'atayna kal kawthar, fasalli li rabbika wanhar, inna shani akahu wal abatar. This is Surah Kawthar. recite this surah seven times on a daily basis and just blow on yourself inshallah ta'ala by doing so generally you will keep yourself safe from 
uh, disease and illness, inshallah ta'ala. So seeing the dream is one thing. After seeing the dream, uh, trying to overcome and get rid of uh, the bad interpretation and meaning of the dream is another thing. And it's always a good habit to uh, practice good habits, correct? If we can, we should do so. Like reciting Surah Qawthar uh, seven times on a daily basis, whether it's in the morning, the afternoon, the evening, or before we go sleep. It doesn't matter what time we recite Surah Qawthar. But by doing so, we are only benefiting ourselves. It doesn't take uh, no longer than two minutes maximum, I believe, uh, for someone to recite Surah Qawthar and then f blow on themselves. We are always wasting our breath on useless things. Uh, we are always indulging in useless conversation. So if we are able to use our breath, our voice for something uh, virtuous uh, from which we will attain um, khair, goodness, and we will attain uh, reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then why should we not do so? Definitely this is something we should act upon. Um, before I say salam and leave you, I would humbly like to request that you subscribe to your channel only Quran and Sunnah, like, share and subscribe. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us all safe from bad bad dreams with bad interpretations. May Allah keep us healthy and fit so we could uh, indulge in ibadah in the best way possible. Ameen, Ya Rabbal Alameen. Jazakumullahu khayra. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته لا يصل وسلم دائما أبدا على حبيبك خير الخلق كلهم فمالي